A SWAT standoff going on right now in southeast Austin, triggered by a deadly shooting in broad daylight. Suspects ran from the shooting scene on East Old Torf. But just a short time later, police got a possible lead at a home just a few blocks away, and that led to the SWAT situation that's still very active right now. Jared Wise is there live. What's going on, Jared? Hi, Leslie and Robert. This whole SWAT standoff started shortly before 5 o'clock this evening, and it continues at this hour. Take a look at the scene behind me. Police believe a person or possibly persons of interest in that shooting may be in one of the units in the Parkview Apartments here off Burton Drive. SWAT and APD officers are both here on scene. Now, we've heard two loud flashbangs and officers on a loudspeaker trying to coax whoever may be inside one of the units here out. And it all started this afternoon after shots rang out at a bus stop just a few blocks away. Freddie Brandenburg heard those shots while she was in a nearby store and came outside to a chaotic scene. Next thing you know, I see a guy laying in the road, so I automatically called 911. A man in his early 20s had been shot and killed near a bus stop next to this jack in the box. The suspects fled the scene. There was a lot of people. The one lady, she started screaming. She was like, oh my God, he's dead, he's dead. Yeah, it's very scary. I'm still trembling. <laughs> and um, it's like you just don't stuff like this in broad daylight. We're doing all we have. We're using all the resources that we can possibly come by to, to find and locate these people. Police were led to a residence just a few blocks away from the crime scene where they had a possible lead on suspects. SWAT members were called out and police closed off several blocks along Burton Drive, keeping many residents from their homes. Brandenburg was one of those kept back, worried about her three kids, and surprised something like this would happen. I mean, we've had a lot of drug activity in this area. But nothing like this. I mean, they've been cleaning it up out here. So to see this is just like, wow. Now, as we told you, there are several apartment buildings here along this section of Burton Drive and that's closed off and keeping many of the frustrated residents out and unable to return to their homes. Now, we'll have more for you tomorrow morning on Austin News Today as the situation comes to a close. Reporting live in southeast Austin, Jared Wise, KXAN, Austin News.